Is cannabis use a potential treatment for depression in pregnant people? Recent trends have shown an increase in cannabis use among pregnant populations, particularly for symptoms like nausea and appetite issues. However, a major reason why some people turn to cannabis is to manage depression and stress during pregnancy. Today, we'll take a closer look at the findings of a recent study published in JAMA, which examines this very issue. Cannabis use among pregnant individuals has become more common in recent years. People often turn to cannabis for various reasons, including managing nausea, improving appetite, and notably, addressing mental health issues like depression and stress. In fact, depression and stress are significant concerns during pregnancy, affecting roughly 10 to 20% of pregnant people. Given these numbers, it's crucial to explore all potential treatments, including cannabis, and to understand what the research has to say about its effectiveness and safety. Before diving into the research, it's important to note the stance of major health organizations. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists strongly discourages the use of cannabis during pregnancy. This recommendation stems from concerns that the chemical contents of cannabis can cross the placenta, potentially reaching the fetus. While more studies are needed to fully understand the long-term effects of cannabis on pregnancy, the general advice from healthcare professionals is to avoid marijuana during this critical time. The study was conducted between 2019 and 2024 and its main goal was to assess the relationship between prenatal cannabis use and levels of depression and stress in pregnant individuals. The researchers followed 504 patients over the course of several years, excluding anyone with other psychiatric issues like mania or substance abuse problems. They used questionnaires to assess the participants' depression and stress levels, as well as their use of cannabis and the reasons behind it. The two main groups in the study were those who used cannabis during pregnancy and those who did not. The researchers aimed to compare the depression levels of these two groups and determine whether cannabis use had any impact on improving mental health outcomes. Now, let's take a look at the results. The study found that people who used cannabis during pregnancy reported higher levels of depression compared to those who didn't use cannabis. However, the critical takeaway is that the change in depression severity between the two groups was not statistically significant. In other words, while the cannabis users experienced higher depression scores, the difference was not large enough to conclude that cannabis had any meaningful effect on reducing depression or stress. The researchers also accounted for other factors, such as sleep and pain management, which are often cited as reasons for cannabis use. Despite considering these variables, there still wasn't a statistically significant difference between the groups when it came to depression severity. So, what does this study suggest about the potential for cannabis to treat depression during pregnancy? Based on the data from Costantino Pettit et al., it seems that marijuana is not a viable option for managing depression or stress in pregnant people. While cannabis may have certain benefits for other symptoms, such as nausea or pain, the study's results indicate that it does not provide significant relief for depression. While more research is always needed, especially to understand the long-term effects of cannabis use during pregnancy, this study points to the fact that alternative treatments for depression and stress should be considered and discussed with healthcare providers. It's crucial for pregnant individuals to seek out safe and effective treatments that prioritize their mental health without jeopardizing their pregnancy or the health of their baby. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope this provided a clearer understanding of the risks and findings regarding cannabis use during pregnancy. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. See you next time.